Welcome back, everybody, to Dave and Buster's Vaughn. I'm your host, Luca Rosano, alongside with Tammy, and we're super excited to welcome the reopening of Dave and Buster's Vaughn. As, uh, yeah, we're fully open. We're fully ready open. to have a good time, ready to play some games, watch some sports. So today, we're going to talk about uh, some of the safety measures that have been put in place, but also we're going to be talking about what we love, and that is sports. Sports, gaming. And all that, thing, food, yeah. and all that good stuff. So Tammy, first and foremost, how you been? tell the people about this grand reopening that has been in the works for quite some time now. First of all, it's really good to see you. Yeah. So no more <laughs> formal handshakes, it's the elbow bang. But we're really glad to be open. It took us almost nine months to get here. Um, it's been a tough nine months uh, being closed, but um, I'm hoping to come back and people feel safe with us again and hence all the COVID measures that we're taking so that people feel comfortable coming out, playing some games, having some food and feeling that they're not surrounded by COVID anymore. Yes. So the goal is to be as safe as we can be, but open up and have some super fun. We've got seven new games, so it's a summer of games. We're super excited to introduce them to everybody that no one has seen before. They're made specifically for Dave and Buster. So everybody's got to come in here and check them out. They're really, yeah. really great, yeah. And masks are mandatory, so Absolutely. we do want to emphasize so that. Absolutely, so we do follow the mask mandate very heavily. Um, it's really important to keep them on. And I guess, you know, you look at it as uh, not a political, but a kindness statement that when you're in the building, let's have the masks on. It just ensures that everybody feels safe and we're working as a whole big team to make sure that we can stay open and remain open. And I just think following those mandates will keep us there. We won't go backwards. We won't have to close again. And I mean, we should be used to it by now, right? It's been how long we've been wearing these things? Yeah, well, it's almost two years now, right? It almost feels like a part of your face yeah, now, it does. right? But we are enforcing it. It's really important that you yeah, do have them with us. Um, the only, re um, we're saying kids under two don't okay. have to wear them. Just it's so hard to keep them on kids' faces, right? Yes. So, yeah. So bring your face mask. That's our only restriction. We have no capacity restrictions. We just ask that people give people space, keep that two meters apart. Um, if you're waiting for a game in the midway, just stand back, don't hover, and just give people that room so that they feel comfortable and not claustrophobic with the distance, for sure. Are hours the same? Hours, we're gonna flex a little bit. So right now, the first week opening, we're gonna do the 12 till 10 every day. Um, as we increase and we pick up and more people know that we're open, we'll start extending the hours back until we're at a normal time rate, which was 2 a.m. Awesome. We'll get there. Yeah, we will. <laughs> Guys, you definitely want to check out Dave and Buster's Vaughn, proud sponsor of the channel. I'm always here playing games, watching sports, eating some great food. The staff here is amazing. Tammy is awesome. So, guys, support local business. Come on down and have a good time. Yeah. Absolutely. Ta Tammy, you were excited for the NBA Finals. It's hugely excited. What a, a finale, if you will, as the Bucks get it done in six games. What was the reaction six to that? Six games. So, very impressed with Giannis. Big game for him. Let's talk about 50 points. Yeah, that was crazy. MVP. Like, you know, you couldn't ask for more. You were rooting for him. You really wanted to see him get it done. I think their fans kicked Jurassic Park, no, like, hands oh, down. Wow. 65,000 plus just outside. Insane, Three right? times more than people who are inside. <laughs> I, just insane. So you got to give it to Milwaukee. You know, I, I think it was their year. Yeah. If they didn't get it this year, I don't think there was ever going to be a chance. I agree. So Milwaukee, they pulled it off. I would have liked to seen the Suns as the underdogs kind of take it away, but, you know, it doesn't always go the way you want it to, right? But very happy for Giannis, for sure, hands down. Yeah, they did it the right way, and he kind of took a shot at super teams after in his press conference. Right. Now, they did have a lot of help. Obviously, the Nets were, you know, uh, riddled with injuries. They got some lucky breaks. But, yeah, you yep. can't take anything away from the Bucks. They were clearly the best team the best when healthy. Team. Absolutely. And the best team won. And they stayed healthy, which was really great. So, you know, the best team won. There was a little worry there when he, he fell and hurt himself. Like, yeah. I was worried he was gonna go out yeah and that hawk series that would have been really ugly for them so you know what he pulled through and it was a good game it was a great series it yeah was, it really was enjoyed it the whole time and a lot of people didn't have high expectations for it but i think it over delivered like over -delivered. every game was amazing it, every game it too was, bad we couldn't get a game seven in here right uh, it was that was the only downside we were hoping for a game <laughs> seven because when we had the raptors in the final you saw how crazy yeah it was, it was unbelievable here. i was watching the game here it was yeah, amazing I, I did we a live stream up, but we got lots coming up right yes so we have the olympics coming up which is really awesome um, a lot of Canadian athletes in that we can stand behind and support and watch the Olympics. It's a whole different year for them. Um, struggling with, you know, being that Olympic champion and trying to maneuver all the things of COVID. And they got two cases in the, the, the village. Yeah. So 
I, I hope everything goes well. I mean, yeah, we're hoping to, and it, we're gonna have it all on here. So if you're looking to watch some of the Olympics, come on down. We'll have the Olympics on. We have some football coming up. Yeah, I'm excited. September. Who are you going for? I'm I'm a Ravens fan. Yeah, uh, I'm a Ra you who are you, who's your football team? You know, I've never Jacksonville. Asked you. Jacksonville. Oh, really? Yeah, wow. Jacksonville okay. is my team, and you know, well, you, they, Trevor Lawrence. There yeah, you go. It's Jacksonville. Yeah. So I'm gonna cheer on Jacksonville. Now, Jacksonville. Great little town. Yeah. I want to see them pull it off. They're due for some success. Due for, yeah. Yes, absolutely. A and also people can watch the NBA draft next NBA Thursday. Draft next Thursday a is going to be now. on live here. Yep. And remember, we will get back. So when we extend our hours back to the midnight, 1 o'clock, we will have all of our UFC back. Nice. Uh, fight nights on Saturday. We're going to be doing Bellator on Friday nights. Awesome. Uh, we sponsor Bellator. So uh, we'll have the Bellator Friday night fights on. Um, we've got still some baseball going on yeah blue jays looking good blue jays looking not so bad right yeah. now so good some good trades we got to work on a little bit of our pitching you know yeah um, but they got the team in place they got the team in place and we've been working up to this we still have the ending of our baseball season so we'll have the games on for baseball sad that we missed the euro cup but yeah that was crazy ride with italy oh my god we so enjoy that as being an italian right <laughs> that's like, right fellow italians fellow here. italians here so very nerve-wracking i think that 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 last game was uh, uh, I was biting all my nails. Yeah, that was crazy. Was falling off the edge of my yeah, seat. Yeah, like, yeah. It was just insane. Super excited for Italy, though. That was amazing. I mean, especially since they missed the World Cup, to right. be able to rebound like that rebound. and go on that that run. What and a then, coach. And, yeah, what a coach. What a what team. A Being down one nothing goes in front of what sixty thousand fans at yeah. Wembley to keep uh, your composure and then win it in a shootout. Yeah. First team ever to win two back to back shootouts, Shoot. by the way. And thirty five straight wins. Yeah. In their season. They're still in, like perfect. Right? Yeah, thirty five in a row. Is just an outstanding coach. Like you have to credit that guy for the way the team has developed yeah. moved forward. I'm a huge Italy fan. I've been following them since I was six years old. I, I couldn't ask for a better year for them. It was just incredible. Yeah, Super it, exciting. It, it was truly like an amazing end. And oh, also, yeah. also, the Raptors are going to be back in no time. I want to pick your brain a little bit. Who do you think they're going to take next week? If you had to make I don't a, even know, there's so many know? directions there's it can so take. There's so many directions we can go. And I just want to sit back and see how this plays out. You know, I think we have a couple of years to, to get back to where we were. I'd love to see them win again, but I, I think that's going to be a time frame. We've got so many good teams out there, right? The, yeah. the competition is getting huge. And, you know, the cool thing is, is I don't know if you've ever watched on Facebook, uh, the Ball family. Yeah. Lonzo Ball, yeah. Mellow Ball. Super cool story following them. Incredible ba uh, basketball players. So... I don't know. Like, this could go any way. And we've yeah. got, what, fourth pick? Yeah, fourth right. overall pick. It could be a, a, a right. franchise-changing pick. Last could time be. they had the fourth pick was uh, was Bosch. Right, right. So, so this could be... How about um, DeRozan? You think we're ever going to get him back? He's actually uh, on the market. He's on the market. So that's very interesting. I mean, it's funny because you look at the, what the Raptors need. They need that scoring guard. Yeah. Uh, and DeRozan fits that perfectly, fits at, perfectly. at this point. But Gels it's like, with the team. He does, he does right? yeah. But do, we, do Torontonians want to see DeRozan back? That's the thing. I think, like personally speaking, like that, like that ship has sailed. I, I think, think you so. keep it in the past. You yes. move forward. It would be like a cool reunion thing. Yeah. But other than that, but I that's mean, that's all it would be, right? That's all it would be. I yeah. don't think we would win a championship per se no, with him. No, I don't so. think he would be the championship guy. No. And I think what we need to do is start getting those championship guys on our team yeah. so that we can pull ourselves forward. Because when we won, it was the craziest thing we've ever seen. He just prayed. It was just, amazing. The city was on fire. Not just became Toronto's team, it became Canada's team. Yeah, it did. So, you know, we wanted to be that way. We want to be so proud of the Raptors. We are still proud. No matter what they do, we're so proud of them. But we need some good drafts in here to get our team to where they need to be, right? Yeah. It's a process. What about uh, another big free agent uh, to be Kyle Lowry? What's going to happen there? A lot of teams interested in him. Yeah. I mean, are the Raptors going to bring him back? Are they going to do a sign and trade? There's so many different options they can take with him, right? You know, well, he's a part of the team, but I think there's that time where we always say we need to rip the bandage. And I think Kyle, as much as we love him and as much as he's been a staple on our, our team, I think maybe it's time to rip the bandage. I agree. I think, I, yeah. I'd love to see Siakam go too. I hate to say it. Yeah. He's just not performing to the level that we're paying him. And we could replace him and have someone play to that level for $100 million. Listen, the Siakam is the perfect Robin, but he's not your, your he's Batman not, that's going to carry Batman. a team. No, and I think he worked really good with Leonard. Like, I think with yeah. Kawhi, he, that, that was a the good perfect fit, pairing, and yeah. he pushed him to be that player. Yeah. But you can't always depend on someone else to push you to be that player. You yeah. need to just be that player. We're paying you big money yeah. to be that player, and you're not coming through. Yeah. So what do we do? Do we keep him and keep sucking it up and hoping yeah. for the best? 
He's been in a whole lot of uh, trade rumors. I think this is going to be the make or break year because yep. uh, there was the bubble and then obviously the pandemic that maybe could have like flustered his game. Right. But this is going to be, be a, 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 year, like right? a normal season That's you would right. think, maybe you back in Toronto. It. Yeah. So this is it, right? To see if he, he truly is that guy. Yeah, are we going to have them back in off. Toronto? Full. I hope so. What do, what do you think? What's I like? Think it's look, it's looking like it, right? If we have the Jays back and yeah. we have uh, hockey back, I think we should have our basketball back, yeah. right? Capacity, we'll see. They're giving the baseball stadium 15,000 people. Yeah, next Friday. So, yeah. you know, I think it should be comparable, right? Yeah. I think we should get some fans in there. And I think uh, if everybody's vaccinated and wearing masks, I think we're safe to do you that. You could do it safely, yeah. I think so. I think we're at that point now that with all of our vaccines getting up there, um, and again, when I speak about vaccines, vaccines is a personal choice. Exactly, It's yeah. your rights and your freedoms to get it as you see fit. Um, but I think that once we get to the 80% second doses, we should be able to do, get in there and get a game on. I would love to get back to a Raptors oh, game. Oh, yeah. How emotional will that first day back oh, be? Oh, my God. I think everybody Like in two years. Crying. Like, I just got goosebumps thinking yeah. about it. Like it it's... Just to get to a game. TFC started on Saturday. Yeah, that was an awesome scene. So, you know, uh, my assistant general manager went down to the game and he said it was awesome it was a good vibe it was great to be back in that stadium watching soccer and tfc we've got some work to do right yeah and yeah they've gone the other direction they, yeah and i mean that's a rebuilding 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 yeah. if you follow the mls so yeah. i mean but they had their first game and it was good to have soccer back in the city yeah like just incredible right yeah that goal that was scored uh, i think it was altador, altador they, they, they yeah. erupted yeah it was crazy right it's the same feeling sitting in that audience and getting the goosebumps because you're actually allowed to be there something we haven't done in two years it feels so foreign to you yeah and like you watch the games on tv obviously in the states yeah. they, they've been you know a little bit more far along with their process like you've seen pack stadium so like us yeah. as canadians were watching that like Imagine. i, 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 I want to be a part of that again right. you see the full stadiums and you're like that is so exciting you know you watch tennis just we had over the summer, we had Wimbledon, the French Open. We had so much going yeah. on in tennis. And I don't know if you... I always talk about tennis. I love tennis, too, yeah. Tennis is a crazy Very underrated. sport. Very underrated. Not enough hype about it. And if you watch these athletes play tennis, absolutely incredible. They play six, seven-hour matches. Yeah, in that grueling heat. In the heat. And just incredible. We had a Canadian in the final, and it was... It was excellent to watch. I watched a lot of tennis this summer, and it was really good. You play tennis? Don't play it. Can't hold it. You gotta play it. Very underrated sport to play too. But man, (laughs) it was so much fun to watch if you you understand it and get the gist of it. Yeah. And if you don't understand it, just start watching it. So much credit goes to those players. Yeah. Their endurance, the skill. They're troopers. Hands down, true. Yeah, absolutely. So for sure. Tammy, any final words before uh, we wrap this up? Just uh, yeah. We're just so excited to be back. Just bear in mind too, that for restaurants, we've been out for nine months. Um, It's a whole fresh start to us. It's like opening a brand new store again. Um, We have lost a lot of staff and not due to anything, but just changing industry. You know, we became very fragile, the restaurant industry, and people look to other places to find employment, which we encouraged everybody to do, to stay working. But now the time to call them back, we're struggling a bit, you know, in the back of the house, in the kitchen and in the front. So we're just asking people to be kind. Yeah. When you come in here, if the service is a little bit slower than normal, just remember that we're working probably at half staff. Um, our intention is never to make anybody upset or put things slow. Our intention is to make sure that we give you the best service that we can. But just be kind. And if you have any questions, ask us. You know, if, if food, we're going to try and communicate our best on a busy Saturday night if food is running a little bit longer. But being kind to people goes a long way. Be kind to your servers. Be kind. You know, how much videos have we watched over YouTube in the last nine months of people being unkind to people? Yeah, the and decency has just been, decency. been gone, so right? It's sad to see. If we can get back to that, that would be really awesome. It would help us thrive, and it'll just make us bigger and better. Yeah. And we'll come back so much stronger once we can get more people into the building and have it running like a normal building again. No, that's a really good point about the patience. You know, just be mindful patience, that be mindful. You know, what, what we've gone through. And yeah. yeah, at the end of the day, we're all it's going like through this can, together. There's so many moving parts to a restaurant. It's not like we just open the doors and everything is normal. There's staffing, beer, food, a liquor. There's so much that goes hand in hand with it. So we just ask for a little bit of patience and 
we're gonna get there. We'll be back to normal as soon as we can. We will. Absolutely. Well, Lucas, this this was awesome, always. guys. Definitely check out Dave and Buster's Vine. I'll be here playing the basketball game. We'll oh. be rocking. We'll be rolling. The one thing I wanted to interrupt and say is we have seven new games this summer. Seven, seven, seven. So come Hatchet Hero, Elevator Action. We've got Life Size Hungry Hungry Hippos. Wow, I gotta We've check got that one out. <laughs> The axe throwing is the best one. Oh, axe throwing now. Axe throwing. Oh, that's an amazing so, uh, yeah, game so that's Yeah, so come added. see our seven new games. And we've got the new Star Wars VR. Wow. So you put the headset on and you are fighting Darth Vader. Wow. So sorry for interrupting you. No, no, no. no that, about that, to talk the, about the, my the, seven no, games. No, those are amazing add-ins. Yeah, yeah, yeah for the, sure. VAR is huge now. And yep. uh, yeah, guys, nothing stopping you. Come on in. They're fully open. Dave and Buster's Vaughn. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you. Anytime. And uh, yeah, come on down, talk guys. Talk to you soon, guys. Take care.